This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and before I continue, I would like to state once again that this will work on probably every 32-bit EFI Mac. Anyway, welcome to Episode 7 of my Mac Pro series. In today's episode, I am going to show you how to enable your recovery boot partition. So you've just installed your new OS X install and you want to access your recovery partition but you realize that every time you try to open it you just end up back into your OS. Well the reason is just like the OS the recovery partition needs to have the modified boot.efi2 and I am going to show you how to do that today. Let's begin. The recovery partition is on a hidden partition on your main drive. To access this we have to first open up a terminal window and type in some commands. Just like in episode 5 I will be pausing the video and then starting the video back up with the text already in there. I will also be including these commands in the video description below. Okay, so let's open Terminal. First go to your Spotlight Search and type in Terminal. Hit Enter. And now we are going to enter commands. First we want to enter this command. This will show all partitions on your computer, including all hidden partitions. Hit enter and it will show up. Now we are looking for our main drive. In this case my main drive is the SSD drive. If you see the recovery partition right here we follow it over and we see it is disk 3 s3 of course since you have to do this command your identifier may be different we now enter this command right here but um, ignore this piece right here because it will be different for you this is my drive right here yours will probably be one of these but might be that one we hit enter and now the drive is mounted. Okay, so now we need to leave this window open and go to Finder and look for the newly mounted drive. And here it is. We open up Con Apple Recovery Boot and we need to replace this boot.efi file. Now, like in episode 5, we uh, had to unlock the boot.efi file. So, to do that, we need to go back into the terminal and type in these commands. First, we do this command. Type in our password. And now we have root access. Now, we put in this command click and drag the EFI file over and then hit enter. The file unlocks and then we replace it with our modified boot EFI file. We hit authenticate then replace type in our password Then we want to relock the file by going back to terminal. We enter this command in, click and drag the file over, and then hit enter. It relocks, and now we are ready to boot into the recovery partition. The reason why you would want to boot into the recovery partition is to run commands that you can't run in 
OS's like El Capitan while it's running. These, these commands also include um, SIP, which is a built-in security feature in El Capitan that you can only disable in the boot partition. So I will be showing you that in the boot partition. Now I am restarting the computer. It's restarting. You hold in Option and wait for the boot menu to show up or you can also hit Command plus R at the same time and it should boot you into the recovery partition. If it doesn't we still need to go to the boot menu, which is what I'm doing right now. We go to the recovery drive, which in this case is for 10.11.5, and hit enter. And it boots into it. Now that we are in the recovery partition, we can go up to utilities and open up terminal. Once terminal is open, you want to enter these commands. Enter this command and hit enter to disable the SIP security and hit enter. Now your system has the system integrity protection disabled. Once you do that, you can type in reboot and hit enter and that will reboot your computer. Now what if we want to enable SIP again? Well, we just enter this command right here. Type in this command and then hit enter. And it re-enables SIP. And then you can type in reboot again. The system will restart and you're set to go. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video and in the next episode, episode 8, we will be covering how to transfer your install to a new drive using SuperDuper. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.